First on five, Carnival cruise ship executives in town meeting with travel agents about plans to bring the fantasy back to Mobile. News 5's Alan Carter has more on why Carnival left the port city five years ago and how the company sees its future now. Right now, it's an also LCS docked outside the Alabama cruise terminal. But in 10 months, it'll be home to a carnival. Mobile, obviously very important to us. We just obviously recently announced that we're going to have a ship uh, sailing out of Mobile beginning this November. More precisely, it'll be this ship, the Fantasy, currently ported in Charleston. They'll have a couple more voyages out of there before getting a makeover. The Fantasy, she's going to go through a multi-million dollar uh, renovation. Uh, before she starts sailing out of uh, Mobile. Adolfo Perez is a Carnival executive back in town this week talking more business with city leaders. An important relationship to fortify because as it's been well documented, Carnival was here before and left before. It, it's really just a mutual uh, aberration uh, party going on right now. They're very grateful and they see the change in Mobile and obviously we're very thankful that uh, they have confidence in our community. We pulled out in 2011. Um, it just didn't make sense at that time for us, but we always had a very uh, soft spot in our heart for Mobile. We were looking for the right opportunity to come back. We think the city's a different place than it was four years ago. That's evidenced by the demand they've been seeing already. Travel agencies say the first trip nearly fully booked with plenty of customers coming from outside the Gulf Coast. They're glad to see it come back. It's a quick cruise for us, meaning that they don't have to stay overnight coming down necessarily. Bookings are going great. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of, uh, a, uh, there must have been some pent up demand because when we started, um, when we first announced, we started getting group bookings and a lot of individual bookings. So there's been a lot of excitement about, about us coming back. Alan Carter, News 5. And that